This is a choke chain used in training only, not in putting it on your dog and making him look macho. There's two ways to put this on. And if you come to Dale's kennel, he'll show you the proper way. And this is the proper way. But if you just roll it over, then what happens, it locks. You see the difference? It locks. It's not going anywhere. It's locked. But I see dogs, and I've known the dogs that got tangled up in a fence or got their leg in between this thing and hung their self, and they were history. He was telling you about these collars. They're okay for your dog just regularly going around. That's fine. But out here when we're de-snaking and that check card over there is hooked into this collar, when that dog jerks and jerks back and runs, they put a lot of pressure. We found these collars just come bam apart. They'll just break. Sometimes even the plastic breaks. So they're no good. Here, exactly what Dale showed you. Nice, stout, good collars. We don't like mistakes in this particular business because the timing is very, very important. And then your check card, very, very important. The man that operates this is as important as the man operating this. Both of them have to work together. This is extremely important to have the timing when to press these buttons and when to turn them loose. You have to be real light fingered. Yes, they have momentaries on some of them, I don't use them. I use the direct because my fingers are real light on it. This is something Dale and I've done most of our lives, so we don't need it. Actually, we don't need that. But timing is extremely important. The check carter is extremely important. We have to work together to get it done, to make your dog aware to stay away from these reptiles. Marking your collars is very important so they don't get mixed up. This. Tritonic makes these particular collars. I could have a collar over there that could set this collar off. So we check that before when there's several of us working because we got to see if, they, if they're coordinated together, then we have to change it around. So you have to watch that also. And the gloves are most important. They, your hands can get cut with this rope when it goes to flying through there. And those, some of these dogs are big hundred or so pound dogs with lots of strength. So make sure you got good, good leather gloves that are good and sturdy and not wore out. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate y'all, and I hope you'll be at the next de-snaking. Dale and I will be looking forward to seeing you. Hope all this information helps you get ready for your next class and enjoy your snake avoidance. Thank you, folks. I'm Dale Merritt with Bear Point Kennels. If you're interested in de-snaking your dogs here in Colorado, you can get a hold of us and find out when we're going to host our next clinic and we will give you that information you can reach us through the web page at bearpointkennel.com i'm julian westlow from trinity texas 